Hi, my name is Sydney Wiseman. Today my presentation is going to be on Lawrence Gossin, and he's a public health lawyer. Um, my first slide is going to be a general overview of what public health lawyers do. Um, first, they're involved in policy, regulation, and legislation, and this would be like legislation that governs public health related activities. Um, they're charged with protecting an individual's right to due process, and due process is the legal requirement that the state must respect all legal rights owed to a person. Um, they manage lawsuits, and this would usually be lawsuits on behalf of the state against any faculty or company that may be in violation of state health regulation. Um, they also advise legislators on constructing new health laws and writing and educating agency procedures for implementing and enforcing the law. And they're also involved in imposing quarantine, which I thought was interesting and very relevant to right now, um, revoking or suspending business and medical licenses, and the closings of unsafe public places. Um, and these are just some topics and organizations that Lawrence Gossin worked on. Um, his first two projects were actually AIDS projects. They were the U.S. Age Litigation Project and the Harvard Model Age Leg Legislation Project. And he actually worked on these projects in the early 80s and like the midst of the AIDS epidemic. And he, he actually led them. And this is what actually confirmed his interest in public health. And then the next organization he's actually the director of still currently. It's the Center for Law and the Public's Health at Johns Hopkins University and Georgetown University. And what it does is it serves as a primary national resource on public health law, ethics and policy for public health practitioners, lawyers, legislators and policymakers. And then currently he's also working on the Model Public Health Act and this act concerns creating a public health preparedness and infrastructure for protecting the health and security of the nation in event of a biological attack or a naturally occurring infectious disease of emergency proportions, which has become a lot more urgent since 9-11. Um, a little bit about his background. He started as a legal director of the National Association for Mental Health and when he was in that position, he was actually attending a meeting in Sicily where he met a doctor named Dr. William Curran, and he convinced him to accept a position at Harvard. And that position was an adjunct professor of public health and law. And when he was still at Harvard, he became the executive director of the American Society of Law, Medicine, and Ethics. And then from there, that's when he led the two AIDS projects he was involved in. And then currently, he is a joint, he's at a joint position as a professor of law at Georgetown University and professor of public health at John Hopkins University. On um, the big picture, he seems to really enjoy his job. He says it's a very exciting and a rewarding place to be. He's motivated um, by knowing he's involved in promoting health and preserving life. Um, one of the challenges of being a public health lawyer is striking a balance between the sensitive issue of individual privacy and the public's need to know. So an example of that would be during an infectious outbreak, a public health lawyer needs to find a balance between releasing information about the outbreak and still respecting the, per the person's um, private medical history. Um, important skills would include good oral and written communication. Um, public health lawyers often need to communicate with the public and be able to speak at court hearings. They need good time management skills, analytical and logical reasoning, and interpersonal skills. For the topic and job update, um, there's always going to be a need for public health lawyers for the development of new policies and to further improve overall public health and wellness. Um, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average salary is about 113000 so it's really good. Um, kind of makes me want to go to law school. And the job growth is about 10%, so that's pretty good too. I couldn't really find an open position for a public health lawyer. Um, I'm assuming that's because a lot of lawyers go on to open their own practice, but I did find a health law associate attorney. Um, and that job was in Orlando, but they didn't really give a salary or anything for that. And then for my reflection, I included a quote that I found from him. Um, 
and it's pretty much advice for anyone who would like to be a public health lawyer in the future. It says, for any lawyer involved in public health, the rewards are really tremendous. You know that your work is helping the public health infrastructure and playing a direct role in the betterment of people's lives. There is so much we in public health can do for people and populations. The law is an enabler of all of that. And pretty much if you're in public health, like you already have a big passion for helping people. And this is just a way to do it um, through the implementation of laws and policies. Thank you.